And we are back. Welcome back to the Champions League prediction series. It is match day four, day two today, and we're at day one, as always, in the Champions League, delivered from essentially the first minute with Maccabi Hyper's early goal against Juventus, including their eventual win, all the way through to the last minute where Antonio Rudiger got a heartbreaking and head-cracking equaliser for Real Madrid against Shakhtar Donetsk. Really gutted for them because they deserve the win, in my opinion. And all the way in between, of course, non-stop drama. Everything that happened in the City game with the penalty and the red card. And then, obviously, the Chelsea and, uh, Chelsea AC Milan game with Tomori getting sent off. And I'm gutted for him because I would have liked to see him start at the Euros for England. But he's had two opportunities to prove himself against English opposition. And essentially, he's cost his team the game in both matches. So, sadly for him, I don't think we'll be seeing Tomori starting at the Euros. But... That's just the way football is. Let's have a look through everything else that happened in last night's matches and then look ahead to a bumper day of action in match day two. As always, if you are enjoying this series, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here. Let's look at those day one results. So... These were, as always, the fixtures that I went for, and these are the predictions I went for, and these were the results, because sadly, it did not really go to plan in this one. If it wasn't for the fact that I got the Dinamo Salzburg score spot on, this would have been an incredibly bad night. We've obviously already spoken about most of the games on here. I'll give another special shout out to Benfica. They have, again, been absolutely fantastic against PSG. Yes, there was all the Mbappe drama yesterday, but I think Benfica were well merited their draw, and uh, yeah. Still slightly disappointed that I didn't give them that draw. And uh, yeah, and also a shout out to Sevilla. They put up a hell of a fight against the Dortmund team that did ring some changes. So that is all that happened yesterday, meaning that it is a match day score, sadly, of four. Not the best, like we say, carried by that opening result, which brings the season score up to 38. Now, the eagle-eyed among you will say, hang on a minute, didn't you only get up to 32 yesterday? Well, that is because I miscalculated yesterday. I should have been on 34. So now I am on 38 after that, plus four. And as always, let me know down in the comments how you got on. And let's look ahead to match day four, day two. And we start with what was the biggest result from match day three, day one, which is the Napoli and Ajax game, which was, of course, 1-6 at Ajax so now we have Napoli at home to Ajax and because of that I don't really know where to put this game I'm obviously going to go for a Napoli win but I still don't feel comfortable saying oh Napoli have thrashed Rangers thrashed Liverpool 1-6-1 away at Ajax therefore I'm going to go for like 5-0 Napoli against Ajax I don't think that would be a fair assessment but I'm just going to go for 3-0 I think Napoli should win. I think they have been more than brilliant in this group so far and deserve all the accolades they've been getting. So I expect them to win, but it would still surprise me to see them go and thrash a team once again. The other game in the group sees the return fixture of Rangers and Liverpool. And not only do Liverpool still need a good result after what happened at the weekend with Arsenal, they are now full of injuries and also have a game against Man City at the weekend to think about. So it'll be very interesting to see Jurgen Klopp's team selection. I don't think he can be too safe with it. And it really depends on what his priorities are. So I think Liverpool will go for it. I think Liverpool should be winning away at Rangers. But given their current form, it wouldn't surprise me to see Rangers get some sort of a result. So with all of that in mind, I'm going to play it a little bit safe and just go for a 2-1 win for Liverpool in that one. On to the next group, and we have the absolute gems that are Club Bruges, this time away at Atletico Madrid. Three wins out of three for Bruges so far. Atletico have really been struggling in this group and are in desperate need of a result. So, again, it wouldn't surprise me to see Bruges starting to hit Atletico Madrid on counter-attacks and maybe get another shock result, but... That's not how Atletico tend to go. They're obviously a very defensive-minded outfit themselves, but they are going to need to start looking for wins at some point in this group. I'm going to give it to Atletico. I'm going to disrespect Club Bruges once again, which is probably an incredibly harsh decision, but I'm going to go for 2-1 to Atletico in that one. As for the other game in the group, this was full of drama last time out, ending up in a 2-0 win for Porto. By Leverkusen have responded well with a brilliant 4-0 win at the weekend. However, they're... 
two goal scorer Jeremy Frimpong will be unavailable for this one after getting sent off in the first game. I'm still going to give Leverkusen the win. I'm going to go for 3-2. I just, again, I think if this game is as entertaining as it was last time, I don't think either team are the best defensively. So I can see this being high scoring. So I'm going to go for 3-2 in that one. And speaking of high scoring, we move on to Pilsen up against Bayern Munich, where... It was a high-scoring thrashing from Bayern last time. I expect it to be the same this time. I would expect Bayern to make a couple of changes to the team, given the fact that they are relatively safe in this group already. But I still have to expect whatever team Bayern put out, kind of like with the City-Copenhagen game last night, which is why I'm going to go for the exact same score I went for with the City-Copenhagen game last night, which is a 4-0 win for Bayern Munich. The other game in the group, and arguably the main event of the night, is Barcelona against Inter Milan. A game where Barcelona dominated pretty much the entire game, but Inter Milan got a scrappy 1-0 win. Barca need the result here, but so do Inter. It's become very tight between the two of them in the group, and this is a massive, massive game in terms of who will probably finish runner-up in the group. I can't see either of them overhauling Bayern Munich, but... The way it works in the Champions League is it all comes down to head-to-head. -to -head. So with Inter Milan having the one goal advantage, it means if Barcelona can win tonight by two or more, that means that Barcelona will have that extra edge over Inter Milan when it comes to the final two games. I am going to back Barcelona to get the win. I am going to back them to get that two-goal margin as well. And I'm going to go for 2-0. Finally then, we start with Sporting up against Marseille. 4-1 to Marseille in the reverse fixture. A great result for them. Again, I can see this being entertaining, very high scoring, but given the fact that Sporting are now back at home, I think it's going to be a much tighter affair. Also, Marseille have a massive game against PSG in Ligue 1 at the weekend, so again, it'll be interesting to see what their respective priorities are. I'm just going to go down the middle. I'm going to go for 2-2, and we will see what happens there. And finally, we have Spurs up against Frankfurt, a game that was 0-0 last time out. Now, I've gone for 2-0 Spurs in all three Champions League predictions so far. And yesterday in his press conference, Antonio Conte has said that he is going to make changes to, for, to his team in this fixture. Therefore, I am going to make a change to my prediction for Tottenham this time out. And instead of going for 2-0, I am going to go for 2-1. And yeah, I think that's still a fair result. I think Tottenham should still be beating Frankfurt. So yeah, I can see it being a close game again like it was last week. But I thoroughly still expect, even with changes, for Tottenham to get the win. And that is going to be it for today. As always, I will have these fixtures in the description of the video, allowing you to quickly copy and paste them down and let me know what you think is going to happen. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with my reaction to Manchester United Europa League game. And I will see you then.